talked about as a team at the beginning of the year, actually 365 days ago when we lost to Texas. Uh, Evan was in on that. Tyler wasn't with us. But we talked about trying to get back here and, and take another shot at it. To be honest with you, um, we felt like we'd be a championship team this year. To get to this point, it's we've exceeded expectations, and, and that's a great thing. And uh, we've won 20 games in a row. I, I think we've played near flawless baseball for the last six weeks. What you saw these last three games, that's the way we've been playing for six weeks. So uh, just really proud of our team. Our pitching staff has been outstanding. Our defense has been unbelievable. And uh, we've gotten clutch hits to win games. And, you know, we, we haven't won by a bunch of runs, but we've gotten the clutch hits to win it. And we've done what we've needed to do to win those games. To be honest, I didn't think it was gone. I mean, the way the ball was carried in this park, it was there were a lot a lot of balls hit further than that in this tournament and they didn't get out. So, you know, off the bat, I knew I knew it was past the right fielder, I just didn't know if it had enough and carried pretty well. Myself, um, just to uh, throw strikes, um, get outs. Uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I was just trying to stay within myself mainly and uh, just trying to get the job done. Evan, as the game went on with all those zeros, were you thinking 10, 12, 15, 18, 21 again? Or? Uh, not really. I wasn't hoping for that. I mean, I knew uh, their pitcher was getting fatigued and, and our hitters were making some adjustments, so I knew that we were on the verge of of breaking it open somehow. I don't know if it's disrespectful. I just think just because of what conference they've been in and what games they've played this year that they thought they were just going to come out on top of this regional. And, um, I mean, we're, we had more experience, which I think they respected, and they knew we were, we meant business here. And um, I don't know. I, I don't think they were disrespecting us in any way. Evan, compared to what you went through last year at this time, just talk about just make it all the more sweeter after what you went through last year. Definitely, I think so. I mean, last year we, uh, you know, we started to shock the world and we came up a little bit short and it kind of left a, a sour taste in our mouth, and especially the older guys that have been there. So this year, I mean, you know, we, we definitely came into this one with a chip on our shoulder thinking, you know, we're, we're not going to let that happen again, especially getting into the championship game without a loss. A weekend like this will take you on an emotional roller coaster. What's it been like being a part of all of this? Uh, it's been pretty crazy. I mean, <laughs> for me, it's my first year traveling with them and um, just playing college baseball in general. So um, I thought the MAC tournament was was crazy, but winning this was just tremendous. I mean, it's outstanding that we can pull this off. Anything else for student athletes? What's your mindset at going into Super Regionals and knowing you're going to go a lot further from home this time? I mean, I think uh, we're pretty used to playing on the road. I mean. The coaches get us a pretty good non-conference schedule early on, especially with some good competition out on the West Coast, you know, traveling. So I don't think the distance is, you know, a factor for us. We're just, we'll handle business. So do you say your confidence level is really high then? Definitely. I mean, 20 wins in a row. We're rolling. Coach, I'll just ask you the same Thank thing, you. just compare this feeling to a year ago. You know, last year was, it was heartbreaking. I mean, you always think about your seniors when, when your season ends. That, that's the thing. And as coaches, uh, I think uh, you know, anyone that's coached can, can relate to that. When, when your season is over and, and your seniors have played their last game, uh, that's, uh, it's heartbreaking. And to be so close, to play so well at Texas, uh, to, to earn the respect of the fans in Austin, um, it was such a great weekend last year, and it ended really tough for us. So, um, it's it's just an unbelievable feeling. I can't really describe how uh, you know how proud I am of this team and, and of this school and our, just our university and just everything in, in general. Everyone that's involved with our program, just really proud of, of what we've been able to accomplish. And and you just when you get to this point, you just don't want to end. You just want to keep playing. You don't want to lose your last game of the season. And that's that's kind of what our goal is. You don't want to lose your last game. And if you if you don't lose your last game, you won the national championship. And that's within reach now. You can actually say that now, and, and that's, uh, that's really hard to believe.
all weekend. Yeah, to hope for a single and get a home run. I mean, that's again, I told Evan right before that plate appearance to look for a ball out over the plate to hit the left. Because yeah, that's when Evan's really good, he hits line drives to left field. Left on left, look for a fastball out over the plate, hit a line drive to left, and he didn't listen to me. And came over right field fence. So I'm glad he didn't listen to me. He just was really aggressive right there looking for a fastball to hit. And, and uh, you know, he's had a lot of clutch hits uh, in his career. And, and, I, and I told him I was going to say this. That's, that's the biggest hit in Kent State baseball history. Um, without question, David Lyon hit a grand slam last year against Taylor Youngman in the regionals against Texas uh, to win that game when they were ranked seventh in the country. And, that got us to the regional final, and that was the biggest hit in Kent State baseball history, but Evan Campbell just trumped him. That's the biggest hit in the history of our program. We played hard and fought the whole way. Our kids believed that we were going to win. Uh, we came in here believing that we were the best team. You're not supposed to think that when you're from the MAC and you're playing the SEC and, and the Big Ten. You're not supposed to think that, but that's the way our guys felt. And, and again, we talked about we were the team with the experience here. Not one player on those other teams had played in a regional before. We were the team in the regional finals last year, and we said that in the dugout about the seventh inning. We've been here before. They haven't. So uh, I think our experience paid off. Our kids knew what to expect. Uh, no one got tight. Uh, you know, we, we were getting a little anxious not being able to, to get a hit off Shepard, but, you know, we, we just we stuck with it. Our kids are, our kids are tough blue-collar kids. We're all from northeast Ohio or western Pennsylvania. We've got 34 kids from a bubble around Kent, Ohio. And that's what I think I'm most proud of is, is that we get kids from here. We don't go to Arizona. We don't go to California or Texas. We get kids from right in our backyard, and, uh, and they perform. They play hard. You talk about the starting pitching a little bit from both sides. I mean, their guy came out was on fire. He pitched three innings last night. Your guy comes in seven strong innings as well. Yeah, with, with Shepard, uh, with him being a freshman and him being a little bit taxed, and he warmed up in the bullpen. 10 times against us in that 21 inning game. He was in the bullpen all night getting ready to come in. He never did. So we, we felt like he would be a little flat and maybe not have great stuff. And being a freshman, he was impressive, really impressive. Uh, he, he hides the ball real well. He got up to 92 miles an hour. He threw his breaking ball when he needed to. But he spotted his fastball. He, he was really, really good. And, and, and Tyler matched them. And you look at their numbers, their numbers are almost identical. And you know, Tyler Scalina uh, went to Virginia out of high school. And he transferred back, and uh, you know that, that that's a, that's a big moment for our program to have a guy who's he was rated the number one player in the state of Ohio, went to Virginia, and, and uh, just felt like he wanted to come back closer to home, and uh, that was a, that was a nice phone call when I got when his dad called me to say he wanted to come back to Kent State, and and uh, just proud to have him on our club.